Hey guys, in this video I'm going to teach you about middleware and middleware is basically a way of protecting our routes. So before our, our app receives a request, we can run some code which is called middleware before it actually allows the user access to the route. So one example of middleware we just seen in the last video where we could not access certain pages because we were not authenticated. So we couldn't access the home page because we were not authenticated. So we would have to log in. And after we logged in, then we'd be able to access the home page. And this is what is referred to as authentication. But what happens is we run through a middleware and the middleware says, is this user logged in? And then if it says no, then it will redirect them back to the login page. So let me log out and then let's go ahead and open up our application. So inside of our app, HTTP and routes.php, this is where we added our route group middleware web. And like we said in the last video, this allows us to have access to all the sessions and cookies and a lot of protection that the Laravel app offers us. So our middleware is stored inside of our app HTTP middleware folder. And inside of here, we see that we have this authenticate.php. And this is the middleware that protects our routes from users who are not logged in. So if we look here, we can see inside of this function handle, we are saying if auth guard guest. So if this user is a guest and if this is an Ajax request, so if it's an Ajax request, then we can just send them an unauthorized 401. Otherwise, we want to return a redirect and we want to redirect them to the login page. So once we try and access the home page, if we don't have access, we get redirected to the login page. So let me show you a quick example of how to add this middleware. So let's say that we created a new route and we just call this access. Okay, and let's say that I just wanted to echo out, you have access. Now let's go to localhost 8000 slash access. And you can see that we have printed out you have access because we haven't put any kind of middleware or any kind of authentication middleware on this route. So let's go ahead and do that now. Just at the end, we will add middleware and we will say auth. So let's save that. Now let's just go back to the home page real quick. And let's try and access that route. And sure enough, it doesn't allow us in because we need to be authenticated before we can access that route because we just added the auth middleware. So let's try logging in. And sure enough, if we log in, then we are able to visit this page because we are an authenticated user. So let's go ahead and log out again. And just show you one more time. And let's try and access that route. Nope, it doesn't allow us in. Redirects us back to the login page. So that is one very basic form of middleware. It's the authentication middleware. And this is this comes with Laravel by default, which is the default authentication scaffold and authentication functionality that comes with Laravel. So you may have also seen that we cannot access this home route because we are not logged in. So this home route also has the same auth middleware, but you can see here if we go into our routes.php and we look at this route, it doesn't look like we have this middleware auth there. And that's because we actually have it inside of the controller. So if we go to the home controller, which is in HTTP controllers and home controller, we can actually add middleware to our constructor. So if we add it to the constructor, we say this middleware auth. So we want the auth middleware to run anytime any of these methods are hit inside of this controller. Okay, so let's go ahead and create our own middleware. Let's say that this user John Doe, we want to check if he is an admin. So let's say before they can access this access route, we want to check if they are an admin. And we're going to hard code something inside of our database real quick. We are going to add a new field and just call this admin. And this will just be a bool field. And we'll just make it default of zero. So we will just check if this user is an admin, the value will be one. If they are not, it will be a zero. So if we look inside of the John Doe user, the admin is currently zero right now. So they are not considered an admin. So let's go back to our terminal and let's create a new middleware. So let's say PHP artisan make middleware. Let's say admin middleware. 
Okay, and if we go back to our app, HTTP middleware, you can see that we have a new file called admin middleware. And I'm going to copy a few things over here from our authenticate middleware, which is this use illuminate support facade auth. So it allows us to use this auth functionality right here. So I am going to copy this functionality inside of our redirect if authenticated middleware, which simply checks if the user is authenticated and if they are not authenticated, they will be redirected to the home page. And if they are authenticated, they will get through and return to the next request. But I'm just going to paste this right here. And I'm going to change this code up a bit. So I am going to say if this user is not a guest and we get the user object and look at the admin row and we say if admin and we can just say if admin because if that's one it's going to pass through and we're going to switch these around so we say if the user is not a guest and they are admin we want to let them continue on otherwise we want to redirect them back to the home page so let's go to our routes.php and let's change our middleware from auth to admin and we actually are going to get an error if we run this if we say is admin we are still going to get an error because it doesn't know what that is admin middleware is and the reason being is that we need to actually add this is admin to our kernel.php so if we go down here and we need to copy this auth middleware and we need to give it a name so we need to say is admin and we need to direct this to the admin middleware so if we save that we go back here so we can specify that this is the is admin middleware which will look inside of the kernel and it will access the admin middleware so let's go ahead and try and access our route so let's go to localhost 8000 you can see that we are logged in and if we go to localhost 8000 slash access then we are not allowed access to that route, but let's go ahead and make John Doe an admin. And let's try and access the route. Okay, sure enough, now we have access to the route because we are an admin. So you can see just how easy that is to create a middleware and kind of create it to for your own needs, however you want to protect against routes. Uh, I would definitely recommend checking out the middleware documentation on Laravel. There's a lot more thorough things about middleware. And uh, if it scares you a little bit about what middleware is or where you might want to use it, uh, don't worry about using it until you get familiar with it. But I just wanted to give you a quick crash course on what middleware is and how you can use it in your application.